He has been unable to defend that Joe Biden is not of war, weaker moral character. He's been unable to defend that the policies that will be implicated will be far more antithetical to Christian beliefs if Joe Biden's in. Uh, so, Rob, let's start with this idea of Christian ethics and that Biden is uh, somehow a terrible Catholic, but Trump is somehow a great evangelical. Okay, So uh, Trump, it's beyond obvious, paid hush money to uh, Stormy Daniel. He was convicted on basically every single count um, talking about this hush money, which was paid out. His own lawyer has confirmed that this is true. He was banging porn stars while he was married. He has a philanthropist pass, right, or a philandering pass. He's been philandering all over the fucking place. How in the world can you say that this guy is a good Christian exactly? How? Well, I didn't say that, and nor would I try to make that argument. In fact, there are things both as a Christian or just as a person that has any sort of morality in respecting the institution of marriage. I don't respect anyone that cheats on their wife. I think that that is a pact between Do a you man agree and... that Trump did? Yeah, I would say that he most certainly did. Whether he yeah, did he specifically did. with Stormy Daniels is open for debate, but it's undoubtable that Trump at some point cheated on his wife. My point is this. You're the one talking about Man Joe Biden great being... character. I right? understand like a good lefty need to interrupt. You're the one talking about ethics and about Joe Biden is the person that actually had good ethics. You can't dispute anything that I said about his sniffing of children, inappropriate showers with his daughter, refusing to acknowledge the existence of his granddaughter. But more importantly than all of that stuff, I care about the actual policies that will be instituted. I'll tell you this. Donald Trump wasn't locking grandmothers up that were praying for people going into a abortion clinics for 10, 15 years at a clip. That's what Joe Biden is. That's the sacrament that Joe Biden okay, represents. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. One, one, point, one point at a time before you gish gallop away to the next point. Like, you're very, you very often do. You gish gallop. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 14 fucking points. Let's do one point at a time. Mm -hmm. Let's start with this idea of the hair sniffing and the child grabbing and the blah, 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 blah. Has Joe Biden ever been convicted of doing anything, anything ever, which has been untoward sexually towards anybody, Rob, ever? No, but it's irrelevant no. to the question. It's it has Trump, now Trump. Trump, though he, you would agree, is a convicted, multiple convicted felon, right? And that yeah. that did have to do with sexual relations with a woman who was a porn star, right, Rob? That's true. However, yeah, that's the true. institutions, the institutions themselves are corrupt. The obvious nature wow. of the politicization of these systems, for example, the E. John Carroll, they literally had to change the law to go after him. She claimed that she was sexually assaulted while she was wearing a dress that wasn't created until two years later. She claimed that this happened in the middle of a department store, but there were no contemporaneous witnesses. She couldn't remember any of he the wasn't prosecuted details. for that. He yes, wasn't prosecuted for that. He was found civilly liable for that. And as yeah. far as the Stormy Daniels, he was not felony. as far as the Stormy Daniels thing, he was found guilty of campaign. Con it, it, it's so convoluted. He we paid spend all hush of our money, dude. He paid hush is money to a prostitute. Is that why he was? Is that what he was convicted of? Paying hush money to a prostitute? It got explain yes. the case to me. Like any good so, Democrat, explain explain exactly what the charge against Donald Trump was in that case. Okay, so my understanding is that the charges which were against him was that he directed campaign money. Uh, a way that was supposed to be going to his campaign back to himself as reimbursement because he paid his lawyer to give hush money to a prostitute. He that is incorrect. And I'm okay, unsurprised. Well I'm unsurprised as a Democrat that you would not have the details of this. So as you can see, what Democrats are keen to do is talk about how important these cases are, but they don't even have the most basic details. What he was charged with was as follows. He was charged with falsifying records, which the statute of limitations ran out. So they had to go with a felony that said the falsification of, of records were in the commission of a separate crime. That separate crime was basically election interference, which requires a third crime crime to have been committed unlawful means though third crime was never specified and the judge said it could have been one of any three which had to do with tax violations which ended up resulting in trump paying more in taxes falsifying records again which is circular or feca falsifying violations. records about what falsifying records about that have to do with campaign expenditures now the uh, thing, well, the campaign feca expenditures mm -hmm. for what? what what do you mean for what what were the campaign expenditures going towards? The argument was you you're misrepresenting what was said anyway. Oh, I'm misrepresenting, right. huh? Because oh, your okay. argument was that he redirected campaign finances back to pay off that's not true. What he was charged with was accepting a loan beyond the contribution limit for an election. Right? To and so do the, what? 
to, to do what to with? pay Stormy Daniels. That's right. To pay hush money to a prostitute, Rob. It's we could talk about the morality of paying. Yeah, hush money and that's to what I'm talking about. How is that ethical? We could talk. Bro? We could talk about that. My point is, like every good Democrat, you don't even have the specific details of the case. Now, this oh my is God, that's pedantry. There's that's not. Only, it has nothing pedantry. to do with. It has nothing to do with being pedantry. It has to do with, for the first time in history, we have charged and convicted a former president. This case of a felony for a crime that they basically made up, saying that he committed campaign finance violations that the actual FEC that looked into it said there was no campaign finance violation. And the fact that you want to just say, yeah, but he banged a porn star that makes him immoral. Again, it's your argument. You're saying that Biden was the one that has Christian ethics, which let's you can't assume, defend. Like, yeah, you're falsely saying, let me finish, you're falsely saying that I said that Trump in his personal life exhibits Christian ethics. I did not say that. I let's said that Biden can't be the one Point the figure. You, you, okay. It, when we got into the actual details, though, of mm -hmm. what he was doing with this, it ends up being while well, he was paying hush money to a prostitute. But okay, let's just assume now, you're not upset about that. You're upset that, oh, you know, they, um, they falsely accused him of, uh, you know, some kind of campaign finance violation, mm -hmm. which they shouldn't have. He most definitely did pay hush money to a prostitute named Stormy Daniels. How in the world? By the way, you defended that. You defended that for months. You defended that he likely didn't do that. You defended for months that you didn't believe it. You did. You did it on it's Normal America. True. I saw it. It's a lie. I, I saw it. You, you said I've... for sure you were like, there's no good evidence here that he ever did that. Oh, man. Wow. Really taking the lefty tech, just making shit out of the full cloth. Uh, no, I never said that. Uh, what I said was likely the whole time was that he probably slept with Stormy Daniels. He probably did pay hush money. That was something that seemed obvious to me. However, this is something that politicians do all the time, including members of Congress that have used $17 million from a slush fund that our taxes go to pay for to pay NDAs for women that have accused them. I don't have to like those personal actions. The personal actions of Joe Biden I find to be far more egregious, such as showering inappropriately with his daughter, refusing to acknowledge the existence of his granddaughter. The point I'm making is, at best, it's a wash for Biden. And if we accept that, not to mention allegations of him sexually assaulting Tara Reid, at best then we would say, well, pragmatically, which direction will the country go in? Will the country be more Christian in its policies with Joe Biden or with Donald Trump? Well, we see what Joe Biden brings. Go ahead. Tell us how you're very excited, for example, and all of the trans story times and things like that that we see that are oh, all the DEI and, and, and shit And we're going like to get into the inclusivity. The sure. But I'm not going to let you, I'm not going to let mm -hmm. you fucking pivot like a typical Republican off of this fucking point. This is what you fuckers always do. Again, again. Is it or is it not morally fucking reprehensible that Donald Trump banged a porn star and then clearly paid hush money to his attorney to shut the bitch up? I do not find that to be morally acceptable. I think that is an yeah. example of weak moral character. Now, let me explain what Andrew Wilson here has done. He has been unable to defend that Joe Biden is not of more weaker moral character. He's been unable to defend that the policies that will be implicated will be far more antithetical to Christian beliefs if Joe Biden's in office. And instead, what he's doing is gaslighting everyone that I've made a position that I never have. I never said that Donald I mean, Trump totally is a moral individual. You totally I didn't say it in my pretended. opening statement. You totally fucking I never, pretended. I, what are you totally talking pretended. about? Oh, nothing. There we go. It was, it was a campaign There's, finance right there now. We oh, go. Oh, nothing to do with paying first off the hooker. It, wow. First, he comes in late like a good little lefty, probably getting paid money from progressive dark money groups. <laughs> and now he takes the left-wing tactic of, well, I can't actually argue the facts of what's been said in this debate, so I'll try to gaslight my audience into believing Rob said something. Can you show yeah, me the like time from the other Where did direction. I say? Can you tell me where I said that Trump was an ethical, moral Christian? Was it in my opening statement? So he's not an ethical, moral Christian. I don't believe so. I believe he's. Yeah, I believe I, the mere fact of right. cheating on your so wife. So from, makes... from a moral, so from a moral standpoint, we're already starting from the from the even point that both of these men are immoral. Using your own logic, they're both at least immoral, right? Correct. Okay, got it. So, so now I think we can move on to the next. Let's get into this idea. Just to be clear, the, you won an yeah. argument against yourself and have said nothing. How did I win it against myself? Because it was you never an argument. Proven it was you never an argument that I made. You're trying to make the argument that we should ignore the fact if we want to embrace Christian ethics that a government of Joe Biden is far worse than a government of Trump. And the way you're attacking that is by you saying... You haven't proven Biden the way, the, way, the way you're attacking that is by saying... 
well, Trump banged a porn star and paid hush money, so he's immoral as well. And isn't that true that he's at least equal with their morality? I don't think that that puts him equal with Biden. I think Biden's worse. I think showering with your daughter in an inappropriate way is far Prove worse. It. than Prove that he did it. His daughter said so in her own. Oh, diary. his daughter said so. Correct. Oh, okay. Well, that that proves it. Then it's not like we had. Oh, I don't know a giant court case recently with Trump where he got found guilty on thirty four fucking counts related to this hush money case, and that's actual evidence in the court of law, and mm -hmm. he was found guilty. On the other hand, though, your issue of well, Biden's equally as evil. Your proof is. Because the daughter said so. Oh, okay, then, Rob. Believe that's all women, Rob. Hashtag believe all women, right? Right? right. That, that's what we're doing? We're going to believe all women, Rob? I would believe that she wouldn't have a reason to make that up. And the idea, oh, that would, oh, the yeah, idea no again, what you're conflating is someone inappropriately sexual contact with a child versus consensual adults having an affair, which I don't support and find it immoral, but there's different levels to the depravity and immorality, as you mm -hmm. well know. And again, all of it's a red herring to a point that I never made into this debate. I would say even if a candidate that embraced the policies of Joe Biden was a better Christian in their personal life than Joe Biden, if that resulted in abortions on demand, sexualization of our children, etc., I would still prefer the immoral person in their real life to be president Wait, than the person what? who is more moral in their personal life and that teaches rough, that the makes sexuality. No sense. Of course, it that makes, makes sense. no sense. Okay, so from my standpoint, I say at least even from your worldview, both of these men are immoral men. From your worldview, Correct. you 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 concede this is true. Correct. But then when we look at the evidence for even why you think that Biden is equally immoral to Trump, you say because his daughter said so. That's not. That's it's one argument I made, and my argument isn't that he's equally. That was pretty your weak argument. fucking argument. That was your just based argument. on hearsay. So what what you can see that's clever, and I'm appreciating that Andrew's doing this because again, it is emblematic of a good Democrat. He's conflating two different ideas. On one hand, he's conflating the idea that any act of immorality is on par with other acts of immorality, which is just nonsensical. For example, it would be immoral to lie. However, lying is not as immoral as inappropriate sexual contact with the child. That is a level of immorality that's worse. And so he conflates and says, well, they both have done immoral things, which is true. I would say almost everyone's done immoral things, but I think cheating on your wife's a level of immorality that we deserve to call out. Then he says on a second hand, he he says, oh, well, we can't believe the accusations against Biden because it's just hearsay, but we have to accept this court case. But again, the court case isn't saying that he was found guilty of banging Stormy Daniels. It's irrelevant as to whether or not he actually had sex with her. They didn't have to find that he had sex you with her. You just know that he did. We know that he that Joe Biden inappropriately showered with his daughter. We know we that he know was that. accused. Of course we do. No, Why? we don't. Can how, you how, how is that known? How can you It's just an me? accusation in a fucking diary. Can it's you not explain known? to me why his daughter in a diary that she did not intend for people to see would make up a lie? Oh, I don't know. Possibly because her father happens to be the most powerful man in the world and it would bring a whole lot of attention to her, like what happens with women all the time, gives them perverse incentives. In to a come private out and say, diary that she had to sue for being released to the public. Oh, so she's retracting that that happened? Retracting that what happened? So is she actually making a public accusation that her father did that? She hasn't spoken on it, to my knowledge. Oh, so then your proof is no proof. No, my proof is when someone says something in private when they don't expect other people to hear it and they make an accusation mm -hmm. against someone that they would stand to benefit not making that accusation for, I tend to take that more at face value than, well, a bunch, 12 people that were on a jury that hate Trump in a district that overwhelmingly was against Trump said he paid hush money, so that means he's more immoral. And again, I understand wanting to f stay hyper-focused on this point because you can't defend the record of Joe Biden. I, just I never made the argument that Trump was moral. And lastly, I'll say this. He started off, Andrew started off this saying, we could at least say that on a ground, they're both coming from a position of immorality. Hasn't said word one about the actual policies that come out and how they're more anti-Christian. Okay, I'm happy to shift. I'm happy to shift to the policy if you will just admit that the only proof that you have of Biden doing any of this horrible, all of this horrible touching, inappropriate touching of children is not from an actual eyewitness coming forward and saying and accusing him of that, but from some fucking diary that any girl could have written about anything. <laughs> no, that's one example. I said, for example, there were multiple women before Biden was running in 2020 that came out and said he had inappropriate sexual contact with them. We could see with our own eyes his inappropriate sniffing and sexualization of children. We could see from Tara Reid her specific accusation of sexual assault. We could see the immorality of ignoring the existence of his only grand or of one of his granddaughters. 
All of this is beyond hearsay. This is absolute provable. You have no argument against any of it. You know it exists. You'll just have to pretend like every good Democrat that actually Biden's the sharpest man in the world behind the scenes and don't believe your lying eyes with everything you see. Well, actually, Trump's the most moral man in the fucking world. Why no one made that argument all kinds of women and cheating on his wife and being a horrific bastard. No one okay. made that argument in this debate. I mean, you did. I did not. You said that it's Time's completely immoral that he did that. Give me the timestamp. But... Gentlemen, uh, this, is, this is great television, but we need to move on.